What is up, brothers from another mother? This is Bosnia360 here. Um, and I'm gonna bring you a COD 4 50 cal sniping gameplay today. Um, I'm just using a blue camo 50 cal of bandolier, top power, and steady aim. Honestly, steady aim is like the best thing you can use on this game. Um, it just helps so much and like it helps you zoom in a little quicker, I guess. I don't know if it makes a difference. Right here, I'm just trying to snipe. I thought the guy was, um, had glitching o on the, over the printer. But he wasn't. So, um, this is on broadcast on the PC, if you guys didn't know. Um, PC gaming, uh, it's pretty hard, like, if you're brand new to it. Being, considering I'm a con, I've been a playing console, um, for like four or five years. Probably around five years. And then I'm switching over to, um, um, PC, like, uh, first person shooters like Minecraft that's different and stuff you know but um first person shooters is a different thing um, I'm trying to I try to quick soap most of most of the time this game but it's I don't know I'm just not used to it fully yet but I'm trying I'm, I play every time I get on COD 4 it's usually with a sniper because I want to get better with it um and just learn um how to quick soap again because I haven't played Call of Duty in like a year and a half and I'm just trying to jump back on because um I got a summer job at Taco Bell. Yes, it's a fast food restaurant, but it's better than sitting home all day, you know, considering I have nothing to do most of the time. Um and it just it just gives it just um gives an experience to learn about responsibility, um how to like uh how to um spend your time and like learn how to use it wisely, you know. More of like a like an experience builder or like a job builder like it just shows me that going to school is the probably the smartest thing you can make in life you know because there's some people that don't actually want to go to college or something but hey if you if you wanted if, if there's something you want to do that doesn't need college and like you you love it to do it and it's fun and you're and, and you're enjoying every day you're doing it and you just want to go to work it's not like something you have to do it's just something you want to do and go on and do it because that's what I wanted to. I want to find a job that um, I can do every day and like for the rest of my life and have fun and enjoy it rather than get a job that I have to do just because I need to pay the bills, you know. But there's some people that get in that situation where, like um, they get uh, laid off from their job and they just need to support their family. I understand that, but I'm just talking about like a teenager kid, like a high school, middle school, like. Um, trying to decide what they want to do with their lives, you know? Um, so, what I was going to say, I really, I don't know, I, I, I could not, like, I, I could not work at a fast food or a Taco Bell or McDonald's for the rest of my life. It just something, it just makes you miserable, like, I don't know how does people do it. Like, people, like, if you, if you say fast food is easy, it's really not. It's really not. Those people have to go through a lot of shit every day, and like you guys need to just like be more nicer to them because they had they make your food to do all this shit, and then you just can't be, just don't be a douchebag to them. Those people have to earn their money, and like it's it's not the easiest job in the world, but it's not the hardest as well. It just like you just wouldn't expect it from a fast food restaurant to be really hard to do, but when you're making the food you gotta be fast you gotta know how to make it right you, you gotta make it right for the customer every single time it's just it's just kind of stressful at the same time too but and then more and then when people are douchebags and they come in and complain about stuff that really are, they, they are, they're just complaining to be douchebags it, it just makes it even harder on them but I've only been working there a week and a half you know and um it's not that bad, you know, once you get used to it, but it's just not something I want to do for the rest of my life. Um, I, when I was, like, a kid, like, high school, middle school, like, right about when I was going to go to high school, I was like, hey, I want to become a doctor. But the only reason I said that is because of the title and the, um, the money. I, 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 that's all I had in my head. I, 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 I don't even like it. Like, I was just like, I don't know why I was even saying that. I just think it was for, like, my parents to make them proud or something that I became something with my life, you know? But it's just something I, like, I just can't see myself doing. 
it, I just can't see myself going 14 hours a day to the emergency room and doing all that. I, I just can't see myself doing that. No matter how much it's going to pay me. I, I, even if it paid a million dollars, I wouldn't do it. Because I really don't. I'm not really focused on the money. As long as I can support myself and a family and like live in a nice, decent neighborhood and house, that's all I'm worried about. I'm really not worried about what I like, fancy car and all that stuff. I'm just worried about making enough money to support myself and like not not enough money just to get by, but enough money to like live life and like really comfortably and everything, and not have to worry about anything, you know. So. I just I just can't see myself becoming a doctor. It, I don't know why I had that in my in my head in the first place. It was just because of the money in the title, like telling somebody what you do, and you're like, oh, I'm a doctor. It just I don't really care anymore, like what you do. Like if you, if you if you if you like if you're having fun and you're enjoying your job, that's all that matters. And it, like it took me a while to figure that out, you know. But once you get into your head, you would you understand like the meaning of work and the mean and the meaning of getting a job like is this something i really want to do for the rest of my life can i see myself come into work every day with a smile on my face and knowing that i really love to do this job that's all that even matters to me i don't know i've been looking into jobs like in um computer engineering programming um computer built like building computers custom pcs for people something in the computer area because people are Technology is gonna grow and grow, and people always are using, are always gonna use computers now. And somebody always needs their computer fixed. Um, there needs to be a new software. Somebody, needs, somebody's gonna develop something like a faster processor, a hard drive, anything that's gonna make the world any better, um, make it faster, make people like work easier and quicker, and save people money. Is that is is what's gonna be the best part. And like, um, that I just want to do something like that, and some something in the technology field, computer. <clears throat> I I could see myself doing that every single day. It just I enjoy it. Like, um, when I uh, sold my Xbox, and then like, I, I I start I started getting to PC. I legit spent fifty uh fifty dollars. Well, I was gonna say fifty dollars. I spent a month. Um. On YouTube, researching stuff. Or learning how to build computer, le learning the main parts of computers, just learning everything. Like that's how, that's the kind of person I am, you know. Like before I do something, I always learn about it. I don't know how to do it. I might not be the best at it, but as learn as long as I know what I'm getting into, it just makes me more comfortable and more secure about it, you know. Um, so that's what I did. I spent like a month just like YouTube researching. Um, like how to build PCs, reviews, you know, like motherboards dot oh is it order dot com, and like Linus Tech Tips. Like I was just like on their uh, YouTube channels, just learning about like computers, learning what's the best, learning what makes your computer go faster, learning what you should do, like all this stuff, you know. And um, that's what I did. And so I was like, I had this plan to like save up a thousand dollars with the computer, but I was like. I was just thinking about it in my head, like, do I really want to invest a thousand dollars into a computer? Like, I I wouldn't have a problem with that if I wasn't like making so little as I am right now. I only get paid eight dollars an hour, and I barely work. I I like work twenty hour weeks, and I, I'm fine with that. I, I I cannot see myself just working more than twenty or twenty five hours, or thirty hours. I I cannot. I could. I the most I've ever worked is six hours a day. And um, I could not just see, I could not see myself being there that long. Um, I don't know. Y you want to have fun with, at your job? I try to, you know, like I try to laugh, I try to like, get to know everybody, but like, it's just what you're doing is not the best. But it's it, it's not that bad either. Like for uh, a starter job, like for my first job, at least I got a job. You know, it's 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 kind of saying that you kind of like saying yeah, whatever, but. Honestly, guys, I applied to like 13 places, like so many places, and I only got called back from one of them. And so, it, I don't know if they weren't hiring or they just didn't, or just not interested in me. But the odds, one to tw like one to 13, that's just ridiculous. Like, that's like um a 10, that's like an 8% chance or something like that. 
that I got hired. I don't know. That's just crazy. Like, how hard it is to get a job. But, like, they're all, they're hiring, so I don't know. I don't know. I think you just gotta meet the qualifications or something, but I'm, I'm happy I got it, honestly. Like, I'm not sad that I got it. I'm not sad that I worked there. I'm just, like, happy that I have it. That I'm actually, I actually have a summer job. That I might do in the, like, um, school year, but who knows how that, how that's gonna work out. Like, I might work, like, two or three hour days just to make some money on the side, you know? Make a, at least, like, uh, like, at least 300 bucks a month. But, um, what's it called? So, yeah, I'm happy I got it. Um, it's pretty hard to find it. I, I started a little late. Like, I started right at, at school, and my school year ended May 24th. Um, I think the, the 24th, 23rd. Somewhere around there, I don't know. We had, a, we had a snow day, so I don't know if they added it or not. Whatever. But, um, yeah, and then, like, I, th I don't know. I think I was just a little too late, and, and I should have started early, you know, because if you guys do want to get a job, go go early. I That's what that's a mistake I made, but I still got it, you know, but I just got lucky, I think, or I don't know. Something happened, but always start early because um, you want to make sure... There's enough spots available. You don't want to start late, and right? Like when everybody's looking for a job, you know what I mean? Like end of school year, people like want to find some summer jobs. You know, that's you want to start probably beginning of May, end of April, because um um what's it called? Because at the end of school year, everybody's gonna be looking for jobs, and it's just gonna be much harder. Um, depending on what field you want to go into, like fast food, retail, all that stuff. Um, I don't know what else lawn mowing. I think I don't know. That I'm pretty sure that's not hard to find, but you, I, it it might be like depending on how many people are already getting already have lawns, already have people that um that are um, that are paying to mow. I mean, that are getting paid to mow, and like you don't know what yards are available. But just start early. Make sure you have a plan on what you want to like um like where you want to work. And, like, if you have friends that work there, try to, like, tell them to get put a good word in for you, you know? So you have a better chance, and, like, so the person that's hiring you knows who you are better. But, yeah, that's about jobs and summer. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna sum up real quick. Um, I might get an Xbox this summer. Who knows? If I do, that will be really fun. Um, planning on just getting Mario 3. Um, me and my cousin recording the Summer Duel Taj. Um, uh, and yeah, and then we'll see how the future of Xbox and video games for me goes. I don't know. I really like to play them, you know, but it just, on the PC, it's just way too expensive for me as a teenager right now. Like, if I was an adult and I had a really good job that I, I could actually pay for all this stuff, it would be much better. But honestly, guys, I'm just not making enough money to actually pay for PC, so... Um, I'm just gonna buy an Xbox and play on that um, until I don't know until PC stuff gets cheap or newer stuff comes out and makes the old stuff cheap. Who knows? Well, the video is about to end in a few seconds. I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary. It was more of a rant, kind of, but it was interesting. I hope. So, thank you guys for watching.